Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters. The three people suing the university over alleged hazing on the basketball team are trying to get to the bottom of the incident. They want to know if the reports were ignored. News 22's Christopher Hernandez has the story. Yeah, sorry. Guys, be careful. Former Aggie players Shaq Odwainu and William Deuce Benjamin Jr., along with Deuce's father, William Benjamin, were emotional in their first public appearance since filing the lawsuit. My child has been failed. My family has been failed. And as a father, I feel like I failed my son for putting them in this situation. They are suing former NMSU coach Greg Heyer, assistant coach Dominic Taylor, and former players Deshondra Washington, Dr. Bradley, and Kim Aiken Jr. for several alleged incidents of hazing that in their lawsuit they say is sexual assault. They hired two law firms to investigate if anyone else knew anything about it. As far as uh, the current athletic director, um, we have our own investigation that, that um, is trying to determine his level of, number one, knowledge, most important, uh, and number two, his, his level of um, action or inaction. Former player Shaq said this is something that would have never happened last year. And the culture was different. Nothing like this would ever happen. You know, it, it was just, it, 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 it was discipline. You know, there was an authority figure. Coach William Benjamin, former Hall of Fame Aggie basketball player, said that this is not the New Mexico State he played for. No behavior like this was ever present, nor would it have been tolerated at all. His son, Deuce, said it was a dream to follow his father's footsteps to become an Aggie. My dream turned into a nightmare real quick, and I never expected this to happen my freshman year. They're now waiting for responses from the people they're suing. The attorneys say more people could be added to the lawsuit depending on what their investigation finds. Christopher Hernandez, News 22. The alleged hazing incident is just one thing that has angered the NMSU faculty. NMSU Faculty Senate is considering a resolution to send a letter of protest to the Board of Regents. It accuses Athletic Director Mario Mochia of neglect or inattention to his duties and doesn't deserve his new five-year contract. The contract immediately gives him a $72,000 raise and increases his base salary to $425,000 by 2027. The letter says it's irrational to reward the leader of a non-academic unit that was responsible for hurting NMSU's reputation. The letter says the situation shows the university is not living up to its mission and calls for regions to hold people accountable. Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters.